Hi, this is George, and today is the day four. So, anyway, I am going to use my Karen Dash New Color 2s. There are 15 colors, and they're kind of like a a watercolor pencil or crayon that is water soluble. So once you apply some uh, crayon to your paper, you can use a little bit of a brush and use a, your brush and wet it and move it around. And we're going to go back in the with the arches. It's a cold pressed watercolor, a hundred percent cotton, which is good because you have um, more absorbency with the watercolor because the cotton will absorb the watercolor and it's supposed to laying on the surface. So this is the day number one through T. You see this is kind of dirty from yesterday's uh, last video. So I'm probably going to use this these pool of colors because I want these to it be incorporated for whichever section I end up working with because you want to incorporate your doodles sometimes, not always, um, with these colors going into the next round. There are two ways basically of or applying watercolor, in this case the Karen Dash. Basically you have wet on wet, which is what I did here, um, and then you have dry uh, wet on, which is basically, let's see, the this one is scarlet, and you apply your neo colors on the dry surface of your paper and you can have as much color uh, layers as you want so I have some water over here so if I so you see how the water activates the New color twos because it's kind of cool. And if you go over the um, border into another shape, don't worry. It's a matter of having fun and exploring your supply. And the next color I'm going to use is my ochre, which is kind of a dark yellow-ish. 
see the difference but it's still warmer than the yellow and since we have limited space between the white of the paper to the Karen dash I'm going to have a little bit less coverage so that I have more of a, wa a wash or gradient. Little bit of water. So see how it changes from the scratchiness um, and goes back to being a darker yellow. And I'm going to go in with some water and apply it here it's to force it the colors to bleed out or blend out towards this and by applying a little bit of water it also kind of forces it the pigment up and you can incurve it like that. And sometimes you, if you want, you can go back in and smooth it out, but let it dry a bit, not a hundred percent. I'm going to experiment. Um, I'm going to go in with yellow and I'm going to follow the border of pencil marks and I'm going to include a little bit of green. Kind of an interesting combination, but it works because it's in a, uh, in analogous. I've since my stroke, there are certain words that I have a problem with, and one of them is analogous and subscribe or subscription which is not to say subscribe but as in speak speech the more you practice like with watercolor the more for proficient you come become and it's a little bit easier the next time so step by step it all comes together so I'm going in with my water to activate the Karen Dash. 
bit of a wash, which is good. Because basically with the swatches, you are trying to see um, one of your, go your goals is to see how they interact with other colors. And I want to activate it more. I, I apologize for the um, lighting today because I had some stuff to do in the morning, which is more like I prefer to paint and do videos because the light is coming from my kitchen window and acts as a light s source but later in the day the sun creates weird shadows i want to go with the green again around here but I wanted to dry it a little bit. Sometimes you can use a blow dryer. This is mine, but I don't use it when the colors are melding together because when you use a blow dryer, it stops the process of mixing together. But if the, it's kind of settled already, you can speed it up a little bit. So, I added a little bit more of the green and then a little bit of a darker green to accentuate the deep markation between the opposing or bordering shapes. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the scarlet and incorporate the arm or line that is part of this design into this one as well. I'm doing, I apply it as I, after I did a bit of blow drying. When you blow dry, have it setting as the lowest heat source. That way you don't run the risk of burning your paper. I'm going to work this area or these areas and while these areas are drying I'll be able to work on this so right now I am working wet on dry because the surface is more or less dry. And make sure my brush is completely out of the red before I go in with 
my dress again. into the greens because green and red and make purple or rather brown and I don't want to contaminate but on the other hand maybe that would be a good idea I won't know until this is dry until I start working on this area. A little bit more water. and soften the glazing a little bit. Directing the color more. Okay, I'm going to start defining my red section here. And let's see. I'm incorporating some of the elements from this one, the yellow and the blue. And I'm going to go in with another layer of the red. Or scarlet or any kind of color that you want to do yourself. As I said in the previous video, use the colors that you want. Your favorite colors or colors that you wouldn't normally do. So with this top end here, I'm going to use a little bit of light um, ultramarine blue to change the hue a little bit or contrast but not a lot so going in with my water again and activate it clean my brush again Skip down one while that kind of dries. And a lot more water. A bit more clean water to thin out the areas around the circle.
You can see that although I started with a light wash down here, by the time I added more scarlet to the area around it, it became kind of looked like white of the paper, but you can see a, dif a, a difference. So, I'm going to extend this part into this. And draw another circle here. But I'm going to change it here because I have a little bump. I like to continue patterns that are next to each other. And I'm going to do that. Another way you can use Karen Dash is by picking up some color with another brush, maybe a small brush, and apply a little bit of water and get some pigment. So it's a bit more. Of a step but it can offer a lot more definition And I'm not really overly concerned with the pencil marks, but you can be more mindful of it if you want. Again, it's just a matter of your preference. And a little bit more water to smooth out the wash. And you can also wet your and dash beforehand and go in your with the brush with water and again activate it. It depends upon what you want to accomplish. Since this area is a, a little bit wet, I'm going to go back in. With a bit more Karen Dash as well uh, as water.
it's a little bit wet here, but not wet enough to have it bleed out completely. Good. A little bit more water here. Just have fun and going in with my ultramarine blue. So as you can see, the sun is really changing um, big time. So I'm going to stop right now and actually one other thing before I stop. A bit more around this because I have an idea of what I want to do next but that's going to be a little later in the evening and when the sun is like shining through the window and I will rely on my um, ring light which is up there. So I'll be back. So remember when I mentioned in the earlier in the video that I was planning on using some of the the swatches from yesterday's video. I'm going to use them now. Penciling in some detail and detail meaning the shapes I want to go for. Sorry about reaching over. And this is a combination of Purple Lake as well as a bit of ultramarine blue. Perfect. No fuss, no mess. Well, other than before. And a bit of shadow here. Since the pencil 
is still there. Might as well use it, right? And yeah, um, hold on one second. This swatch is calling to me, and I'm going to yeah, okay. I did have it. A thought. Let's try that. So, what I just did is I connected. The line here going down and up again and connected with that line. So Do I know what I'm going to do with this part? Nah, we'll, we'll worry about it tomorrow. So go a little closer. So how do you do, like it? Remember, it's only the beginning and if, like I said, in you go through a ugly stage, work through it. You'll be amazed. Remember to register to VOTE. And I hope you got inspired today. Um, you can, I use the Karen Dash, but you can use any medium you want. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Have a great one. Bye.